a new explosion of violence in Ferguson, Missouri. This behavior will not be tolerated. The safety of the officers and individuals within our community will be maintained. The fresh unrest. No justice, no peace. A reminder of the tension still simmering in this small town. Hands up, don't shoot. Hands up, don't shoot. Tensions that could reach a full boil depending on the actions of the St. Louis County Grand Jury. Now more than six weeks after Officer Darren Wilson shot and killed Michael Brown. Why did you decide to take this case to the grand jury? Well, a couple reasons. One is that uh, forever we have taken all homicide cases to the grand jury. Prosecutor Bob McCullough has done few interviews since his office got the case. He remains a target of protesters who want him to step aside. Bob McCullough has got to go. You don't just walk away from a case because, you know, you're catching a lot of grief over it. I can be fair, and I have been fair. People still are angry about this and worried that there is a bias mm -hmm. because your father was right. killed in the line of duty of a police officer Correct. and was killed by an African-American person. Correct. All of that is correct, and all that is irrelevant in terms of um, whether there's any bias or prejudice on my part. I know what it's like to lose a loved one to violence, and so I know what that feeling is. If it causes me to lean one way or the other, it, it causes me to lean towards victims of violence. Did you think ever about maybe making a, a grand gesture by stepping down from this case and, and letting a special prosecutor take over. I mean, there, there's a very vocal uh, group, don't get me wrong, uh, that thinks, you know, that I'm the devil incarnate and shouldn't be on this case. But when you look at the ones making those allegations, you know, look behind them. McCullough insists there is no hidden agenda behind the grand jury's secret proceedings. Their term just extended until January, but a decision could come sooner. That's taken longer than we had anticipated on each witness, and so it is likely to go to probably the end of October into the first part of November, maybe as far as the middle of November. He says the seven men and five women selected randomly by a judge are hearing from every witness, seeing every piece of evidence, all of which he says will eventually be made public when a decision is made on whether to indict Officer Wilson. We don't get it! Shut it down! A community desperate for answers. These protesters say they will not rest. Everybody's here for Mike Brown. Everybody's here for justice. Don't shoot! It's justice they demand, no matter how long it takes.